welcome back to my channel so i'm just getting in from work i went to work for like three hours today nothing special i would have took you with me but i know y'all get tired of seeing me at work so i didn't even i didn't even bother but like i said i'm just getting back in i had a package on the doorstep i did stop by the walmart to pick up some touch up black paint because i thought that i could flip over the top shelves in my closet room to where like the exposed wood is showing like they're upside out I'll, I'll show you in a minute long story short girl i need to pick up some black touch-up paint because i couldn't i couldn't fix it but i'm going to show you but meanwhile as i'm just getting in i had a package on my doorstep this is what i got i got this led wall mounted makeup mirror girl it's giving it's giving luxury hotel bathroom vibes. Let me go ahead and open up and show you the mirror itself. But this is the mirror. Now it has magnification. It plugs in. So you want to install it near a plug in a way that the plug isn't all stretched across the wall but i'm going to install this in this video so girl stay tuned i'm going to show you the mirror in all its glory but girl it's giving i can't wait to see it on the wall yeah luxury spa like that bathroom bathroom vibes bathroom feels so that's what we're going for so this is going to be fun for me having this on the wall All right, so this is the power source right here in the front, obviously. Okay, nice. And you just hold it to dim it or to brighten it. Power button right here. And I think this is just where you hide the screws. Yeah, the little screw covers right here. Yes, I'm ready to put this up. I'm so ready. We'll probably do this tonight or tomorrow, but definitely, definitely in this very vlog, this vlog, you're going to see it up. But let's go ahead and get started in the, damn it, you know what? We can't start it. I was going to say we can start the painting process in there. I took the ladder back today on my way in to work. Hmm. We might have to just do this Monday because the replacement ladder will be here Monday because that pewter, light gold, bronzy, whatever, it was labeled as gold. The gold was just not given. And I'm just, you know, I'm just in a place where I'm not settling. I'm just not going to keep, if I don't want that, I'm not keeping that. We're sending it back. We're going to get what we want. I need a black one. And I feel like the black will be a better fit for my closet area. So girl, that's what we went with. We ordered the black one, so Monday for sure. Let me see if I have something I can stand on that's trustworthy. Guys, so this flat black, no odor paint from Walmart really did the trick. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Wish I would have done this sooner. This took all of maybe 30 minutes last night. Fast drying. As you see, the bags are back up. Yes, loving it. And I had to do four, just four of the panels. Yeah. Turned out nice. And I did get extra display holders for the purses up top. I just bought a two pack. Um, those came in yesterday and I put those up yesterday. I don't know. I'm debating about getting a couple more. 
because I do have some bags still in boxes that would look nice on display. So I'm still trying to figure out how I want to kind of organize these on the shelves. Though I do have a couple here. And then one display rack for shoes, just one. Then the totes are still just hanging over here on this door rack. And then this is just a, it needs a home. Just the Amazon cutie that I reviewed on my channel last summer. I love this color though. This is like one of those Dason bags. And I love the Dason bags from Amazon. They're so beautiful, come in so many colors. So affordable. They're like Hermes dupes. Love those. I'm about to switch over to this bag. Y'all remember this bag? Like maybe two winters ago. I got this from unclaimed baggage at a steal of a price. And I've never carried it. Never carried it. I'll have that video linked down below. So I think I revealed how much I paid for this in that video. Unclaimed baggage is in Scottsboro, Alabama. That video explains what that place is, but it is so nice. I haven't been in a while. I probably need to go. It's been at least about nine, ten months since I've gone. But yeah, we're going to be in our MCM today. All right, making us some brunch, having us at 11.30 a.m. omelets, okay. Bacon, turkey, lots of cheese, green onion, you know the deal. Good morning, happy Monday. I installed the vanity mirror that I showed you on Saturday. OMGG, I am so in love with it. I think it is so neat. And it does have different light settings, which I am in love with. So yeah, it just amplifies your bathroom. It gives you like hotel spa-like feels. I absolutely love it. And this is from Amazon. The link will be down below, just in case, girl, you're interested. And it is one of those magnification mirrors. You can flip it over, and it does 10 times the magnification. I still got the sticker on. I'm going to take it off in a minute. But wanted to show you it was that very same mirror. Love, love, love. Let me show you how bright it gets. So I'm going to cut it back on. Cut the light off. Girl. It's a vibe. It sets the tone and the mood in your bathroom. I love it. I think it is so nice. Guys, yeah, so I'm realizing um, I have a 5.30 a.m. flight in the morning. It's 5.30 to 5.45. I got to go ahead and get my itinerary. But I have to go to Dallas. So right now, I'm in the process of figuring out what I'm going to pack and take to Dallas. Um, this is my bag that I'm carrying right now. But instead of taking the bag, I think I'm going to go with my small duffel, my 45 centimeter, just in case I get out and do some shopping. Because every time I go, I end up bringing some things back. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this as my carry-on bag. And as well as my purse and then pack me a smaller purse inside for my actual day. So I don't have to walk around with the duffel, you know? I know it, it looks like a lot of stuff, but this is the stuff here that comes out of my everyday bag. Like my agenda, um, my little poo-poo case that I use for my um, earbuds and AirPods. They both fit in here. I'll show you that. You've probably already seen that in my um, travel vlogs before. Um, my little cosmetic bag that I keep miscellaneous stuff in when I am carrying what I call a day bag like this. This just helps you keep it organized when you have some pouches for these type duffels and weekender style bags because this is like an open pit. So it'll be hard to find things inside of it if you're just using this as your purse. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put everything from my purse in this, but I still, I have a doctor's appointment at two though. So 
I'm trying to think this out, but I want to be prepared so I don't have to do too much last minute tonight, you know? All right, so I got my curly wig ready to go. I just washed and conditioned it. So that's what she's doing right now. Just air drying with her curly cream in it. And I'll put a little more mousse and product in it in the morning. But it's just better for me to travel with my curly units. Because I don't have to travel with any type of uh, flat irons or curling irons. Or any type of heating apparatus. Because then I have to wake up. Especially with an overnight trip. Now if it was a little longer trip. Then yes I can wear any wig I want. But since it's just a day trip. And I have to be at class at a certain time. I don't want to be up uh, waiting and praying for that flat iron or whatever to, you know, cool off before I repack it. That's the only thing. I just don't want to worry about that. It's just an easier option just to go with a curly unit. So that's what we're doing. Well, like I said, this looks like a lot that I'm packing, but it really isn't. It's just the stuff that's in my normal everyday purse going into the um you know weekend of style bag which is going to act as my carry-on and purse but i'm going to pack a small purse inside i'll show you we'll get my life together in just a bit all right so this is that little case from the fence with my um earbuds in it my airpods and my j lab favorite earbuds from amazon absolutely love these because they're flesh toned so cute so stylish and they're inconspicuous i get away with wearing those in classes and stuff so yeah seen in my ipad uh, my little pouchy pouch for miscellaneous things my makeup bag that i normally keep in my purse it's got all my lipsticks and lip glosses all of that in it my agenda and that's it then i'm gonna pack my purse in here i mean i'll still have room for shopping if i do go shopping I want to add anything else to the bag. It's right here, but can't glide. It's very heavy. And I have a few more things in here too. My keys, my wallet, pens. Gotta have my travel wipes. And yeah. Okay, so my toiletry bag and my makeup bag will go in my carry-on bag. Now this makeup case here is from amazon i just recently got this so this will be my first time using this though i have two or three others very very similar to this i have a black one that's just all black and then i have one that kind of looks similar to this but it's like triangles instead of squares so this is what it looks like inside it keeps your makeup really nice and safe you don't have to worry about your eyeshadow palettes getting crushed and you know messed up and your makeup just everywhere those powdery pieces just like everywhere it keeps everything and nice and safe that's what i love about this case and my toiletry bag is just so spacious i love this bag this just stays packed i never have to pack it just take inventory when i'm leaving places just trying to remember if anything is getting low and then i take it out and a lot of this i get from walmart and from trying those walmart beauty boxes because a lot of that stuff comes in travel sizes well it's, the beauty boxes are all travel size stuff so yeah this just stays packed stays packed But I'll probably go ahead and pack my makeup case tonight so I can do my makeup out of this in the morning to make sure that I have everything I need. But I usually do not take a whole lot of stuff. Just the foundation, pressed powder, a blush, and my eyelashes on. I'll pack a glue and a mascara, and that's pretty much it for me. That's all I take. Nothing crazy. I don't pack a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Packing for me is kind of easy. But let me get my carry-on bag, though. All right, I guess you guys see a trend. I am a L'Oreal girl. Almost everything that I wear on my face um, on the daily is L'Oreal. I love the concealer, the foundation. I have the pressed powder, the bronzer, and the blush. So, yeah, these definitely have to go. This is pretty much all the makeup essentials I'm going to need. And my mascara that is going in there for my bottom lashes. Got to have an eyeliner. And all my lip products are in my purse. Um, so makeup remover wipes. I think I have some in here, but I'm going to pack some. 
I'm gonna pack some. But yeah, this is it. I picked up this five pack of travel shoe bags from Amazon. We're gonna use these today. And our carry on bag for the shoes. Okay, so this is what the shoe bags look like outside of the package. And I like that they have the little peekaboo bottom. So if you're packing multiple shoes, you'll know which ones you're grabbing for because you can see them right down here through the peekaboo bottom. It's pretty neat. And these were super cheap. They'll be linked down below as well. I don't know. I probably should just take only one pair of shoes. So that would be the smart move. Just wear the same pair of shoes and just make it work for um, both outfits. I don't know. I guess I'll determine that depending upon what I'm packing. Maybe I can get away with one pair. I hope. Because like I said, that would be smart. <laughs> but I, I have everything sorted out now like the way I want it. So it's going to be a breeze from here. So... Whoa, this is taking up a lot of space. So I think I'm gonna go with my smaller, this is my usual makeup bag. It doesn't have all those compartments, but it, it's pretty cool though. It keeps my little bit of makeup safe. So I think I'm gonna take this out because this is a little big. I didn't plan on this taking up so much space, but I don't know. I guess, I don't know, I don't know. Let me just finish packing before I make my decision. <laughs> I don't know yet. Especially if I'm taking another pair of shoes, but I guess they could fit along this side. We'll see. All right, guys, we are in the car. I'm almost there. I'm literally down the street. We got seven minutes to be on time. But I'm already checked in because I checked in via the phone. So, yeah. Hopefully this will be speedy. It usually isn't though, but I'm hoping for the best. But I ended up getting dressed dressed because I thought I had to run over to my job. And then they ended up calling me saying, never mind, we got it. So, well, that's a good thing too though, because I really didn't want to do that. I just wanted to go do this, go to the doctor, do the thrift store because my favorite thrift store is right next door to my doctor's office. Go in there. And go get my salad, come back home, and wait on deliveries. Because the, the three-step ladder, the black step ladder, should be arriving today for the beauty room, closet room area. So, I'm excited to see it, though I know it's going to work. It's just black. I can't go wrong with the all-black step ladder for this room. Um, clear out a spot for it. Maybe I'll take some stuff to stores today because I got a lot of stuff packed up in totes ready to go. But we'll see how that goes. Or I'll just set it to the sides where you can't see it. And show you how it looks in there. The stairs. The step ladder rather. In there. But yeah, we just pulled up into the parking lot. For these frames though i am definitely definitely feeling these i thought these were so cute i love a good tinted frame yes so cute to me i love these So this actually might go smooth. There's not many people here. Usually it's usually pretty packed. So that's a good thing. I'm happy.
All right, guys, we're leaving. All right, so we're done. I got my appointment card for next year. Let's go to the thrift store next door. I'm gonna just leave my car right here. All right, so this is the thrift store that I absolutely love. They have the most cutest things and the nicest things in here, especially as it pertains to like crystal and glasses, stuff like that, because I've gotten quite a few things in here, especially the glasses on my bar carts. Ooh, that smell. Let's look over here first. These are cute dessert glasses. Cute espresso glasses. Well, I don't see anything today. Yo, I almost thought that was a, like a GoPro itself, but that's just like the waterproof housing for it. But it's brand new in the pack. Yeah, I really like going in there. I usually find some really cool things. They had some good stuff in there, but nothing that I just needed today, you know? All right, so I am hungry. We're gonna go get something to eat, then take it back to the house. I know I don't have anything at my post office box, so I'm not even gonna stop. That would be a waste of time. Let me do your Southwest salad fried with the order of white cheddar bites. That is it. Thank you. Those white cheddar bites are so good. Good, yep. White cheddar bites make me think of the Wisconsin cheese curds. They're so good. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever been to Wisconsin. And if you go to Wisconsin, you definitely have to have the cheese curds. Thank you. I'm gonna put all my stuff back because I don't want any problems in the morning with my IDs and my debit cards. Cause that would be the worst to go out of town and realize you don't have your debit card. <laughs> well, I have other cards I could swipe, but still. And my Apple Pay bill. I just need all my things. 
Thank you. Let's check this out. I ordered this last week from Amazon. This is a net for your patio umbrella. Like a mosquito net. Keeps all the bugs away while you enjoy some, you know, outdoor time on your patio, your back porch, or whatever you you call it. And I thought this would be neat for me because, yeah, ain't nobody got time for bugs. And it comes in a black, brown. I want to say that was a red one, but I opted for the brown because I thought it would good, look good with my umbrella because my umbrella is like a burnt orangey type color. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I'm going to see what it looks like, see how easy this is to install. All right, so this is my umbrella. I keep it in the house because, girl, I do not want my umbrella out just getting weathered and beat up by the elements. So I keep it inside in my hall entryway closet, and I pull it out when I'm ready to use it. I like to keep my stuff looking nice. Girl, this is not to be spent the night outside. I can't do it. <sighs> I literally almost sweat to death putting that netting on my umbrella girl it was it was easy but yet hard at the same time if that makes any sense because you I, mm. it was like getting it unsorted it's like a big ass tool skirt so once you got it sorted out and outside and then strung through the umbrella and then it has the two drawstrings where you just tighten it around the top to get it to you know expand whoa with the umbrella but it came with two like literally like paper clips where you try to clip it on to wire it to just stay until you you know oh open the umbrella girl it is so high but it worked i got it up i'm gonna show y'all in a minute but right now it is too hot for me to be outside it's too hot but i'm definitely going to show it to you it is so nice though my salad from Zaxby's is so good. I wanted to eat it outside, but it's a little too hot right now. The netting does nothing for the heat. <laughs> Keeps the bugs out, but girl, the heat is heating right now. Y'all, I just put on some cooler jeans. My sandals, because I do have to make a quick run. I was trying to sit around here and wait on the ups men but child it's getting late it's about seven o'clock though my delivery is expected by 9 p.m we'll be back way before then though i just had to go to my desk at work and get something out of it but i don't know we might stop for a drinky drink somewhere <laughs> probably not we'll probably just stop for a frozen coat um but yeah this cute little chanel mini bag i got last summer my chanel dad sandals and my amazon bodysuit i love these bodysuits girl done picked up a little weight but these are so slimming and smoothing i love these bodysuits love 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 y'all i'm outside under my umbrella and my little netting look at that i like it it's super neat i'm glad i got this definitely keeps the bugs out I can see them out there walking around and flying around it and stuff. It's nice. I like it. I can't wait to show you this as the sun sets, though. You got to see it. It's a total vibe, though, especially when I cut the lights on on my umbrella. It has the zipper closure so you can walk in and out. All right, guys, so y'all know I'm still packing. Because I'm taking my small duffel, my 45, I'm going to pack this as my evening bag just in case. I leave for the night for dinner. I'll have a smaller bag to take. It's going in my duffel. Inside my duffel is everything that would be in my never full. So it's really not doing the most, but it's kind of doing the most because it's a duffel. But this is the smaller duffel. It's the 45. So this would be cool. So if I were to go shopping, I have room to keep everything on me in my carry-on. Only reason why I'm bringing this bag. But I'm all packed. Pajamas, my one outfit for the next day of class. Um, yeah, this is everything I need. 
toiletries and makeup, one outfit, and my pajamas. And then this leaves room for my laundry bag here. I have undies packed in here too, so they're there. I didn't forget. And I need to grab a pair of socks for sleeping. And that is it. That is how I pack for my quick trips. All right, so my older string of lights, they just went kaput. They're not even working, but I could have did a better job with putting those up. But you get the gist. You can run them along, you know, like the wires of the umbrella. And it looks so cute because that's how my old strings was. And they just went out. So I just have this cluster right here going, but they're still cute. And they have different settings. They flutter. They'll just stay constantly on. But I like the little blink. It's kind of cute. And right now, guys, the fireflies are out. It's a vibe. So nice. Yeah, it's crazy because I'm still waiting on the postman. I'm still waiting on the stairs i keep calling them stairs the step ladder for the purse room it still says out for delivery arriving by nine it's like 8 11 right now this is crazy i was hoping you guys would get to see it in today's video y'all i thought by now i would have the step ladder to have shown you that in my bag room I thought my vision was going to come together, but girl, this looks like this just didn't fell apart. Like the Carly Russell case, girl. I don't know what's happening. Alexa, where are my packages? For Masha, step ladder should arrive today by 9 p.m. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.50 p.m. That's like in 10 minutes, and I still got an errand to run. I, I don't have time to play with these folks. I already know and see what's happening here. It's just not coming today. And I'll get one of those notices that my package is ready for pickup at the post office because they didn't feel like bringing it to me. That's usually how that happens with me. Guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog, girl. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads until next time. I will see you in my next video and there will definitely be another video. I'll see you guys tomorrow in Dallas.